Uh, hi, it's Chugga Conroy. Hey guys. Um, God, I'm not gonna like doing this part. I, I um, I just recorded this part, this exact part right here, and oh my God, I'm an idiot. I had my camera turned on from a video that I did last night that involved me using my camera instead of my mic. So like, in the end, like three quarters of the screen was my camera recording, like my mouth moving, and like. The other half of the screen was the game, and oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Well, anyway, um, in the last part, we got Bubble Monkey, who is Jeff's permanent party member for this part of the game, just this small part of the game. You know, we said goodbye to Tony. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I was showing this in the beginning of the last one. Um, we got some good equipment for Jeff, but look at this, he's level 1 when we get him. Yes, he's level 1. We just screwed level 2 right now. So yeah, that is not good. This is not good. We gotta level him up a little bit. This part is mainly gonna be leveling up. I'm just gonna be talking about some of the enemies you'll find here, some of the places you can go. This part, in all honesty, even the first time I didn't think it was too interesting though, but God, I can't believe it to do this twice. And I was sure to make sure my uh, camera's recording light is turned off this time, because I was wondering why it was on last time, you know, shining in my face, and that was why. So yeah, no more of that. This is why I should not start from doing the LPs. Oh, look at this. We got a magic butterfly. That's a good thing, isn't it? That is a good thing that we find a magic butterfly. Actually, no, it is not. Look at this. Jeff is our one permanent character in this game who does not have PSI powers. He doesn't have any PP. He has no PSI window in here. He has nothing. He will never learn a PSI attack or get any PP. Um, another thing about Jeff that is a uh, con to his character in battle, his uh, he's the only character who can't get smash attacks, at least with his regular weapons. His uh, gun weapons is what he normally typically uses that uh, are exclusive to him. The guns cannot get smash attacks for obvious reasons because they're guns; you're not hitting anything. I suppose if you didn't have any weapons on him at all, he could get smash attacks, but that's the only way. But because you know that he'd be punching, but why would you want to have Jeff do that? His offensive power is actually lackluster as it is, so you wouldn't want that. However, with these bad qualities to Jeff, he's a very unique character, of course. Playing as him is like entirely different than any other character. Jeff has quite a few good qualities. How do you ask? Well, Jeff's IQ stat is one of his primary stats. Like, let's see, there it just went up by one. Okay, we've had a lot of broken items throughout the course of this game that we haven't been able to do anything this with. Like, let's say, this broken spray can that we got right now, this broken air gun. Well, whenever we stay in a hotel, if Jeff's IQ is uh, high enough to know enough about that item, Jeff will actually fix it. He will repair it into a useful item, a weapon, something along those lines. He can make insecticide spray, he can make weapons for himself... He can just turn stuff into other stuff, and that's a really cool feature about Jeff. He can make some really good items, and his weapons out overall are really good because of that. Because you gotta, you know, it's basically the, this game's equivalent of refining. That is definitely one thing I like about Jeff. Um, another thing that I'll show off when I'm fighting a weaker enemy. Uh, Alright, let's just see if we can find a runaway dog or a special crow that I can show this off with. Hey, we grew to level 4. His leveling is going off as, oh, our defense went up by 3, guts went up by 2. Come on, give me vitality. I want vitality. We haven't gotten any vitality. Okay, here we go. In this fight, I'll show you something else Jeff can do that no other character has. Now, Ness has the ability to run from battle, of course. You know, because he's our main guy and all that. You know, N Ness is just, you know, he doesn't have like really any special power like Pollock and Prey or anything like that. He's just basically our main guy. But Jeff has the ability to use Spy. Now, what is Spy? Well, let's use it. We spy on Spevel Crow, we see their offense, their defense, they see their vulnerabilities, right there, it'll tell you what attacks work on them. See a present behind the enemy, inside a present there was a cookie, Jeff takes it. So not only can you see, um, not only can you see your opponent's uh, stats and their weaknesses without having to do a bunch of research on them, or going on like Wikipedia or whatever, or whatever site you're going on, um, you can just do that, see what they're vulnerable to, it works on bosses too, and if they have an item, you just get it like that. You steal it. So you can steal items that way, which is really helpful for whenever we get later in the game trying to get the ultimate weapons. 
and we don't want to fight millions of enemies to do it. I am actually, um, for those who are wondering, I am going to be trying to get the ultimate weapons later on in the game when we can. Because you can actually get them pretty, um, pretty far from the end, actually. But, um, anyway. Another question I've been getting from a lot of people is, am I going to do Mother 3? And I basically figured I would answer that right now, because, uh, you know, I'm not really doing anything but fighting enemies over and over again. I will be doing Mother 3. But not before I'm done with Mother 2, not before the fan translation comes out. No, I'm not going to be doing it like that. I'm not playing it in Japanese, I'm not playing it before I'm done with Mother 2, you guys are just going to have to wait. Like many other people, I do believe Mother 3 is the best in the series, and I, well, I like Mother 2 and Mother 3 about the same, actually, but whatever. Um, if Mother 3 isn't, it, it doesn't have the tra fan translation out for it yet, when uh, at that time comes, instead, I was thinking of either doing Mother 1, or I would just do some other game people were requesting me for, for me to do. So, want to see me do something in particular when the time comes and I'm close to being done with Mother 2? Just let me know. One of the games I always wanted to kind of uh, LP also was uh, Pokemon Crystal, but that might take like 100 parts, I swear to God. That game is huge. Especially if we're going to do the uh, Johto bosses, I mean the uh, Kanto bosses. As you can tell, I'm a very big fan of Pokemon. I had a Pokemon upbringing, that's why uh, my mind is so unstable. Yeah. That's why I'm insane like this. That's why I will go to her house. I will eat your soul. Okay, never mind. Okay. We're just gonna get one more level right here. Oh. Can I? I can't. No, I can't do that thing. Sometimes when enemies are up on ledges like that, you can actually fight them. It's kind of a weird thing, though. It only happens with some enemies, and it only happens at just the right angle, but you can do it. In fact, in the last recording, I showed that off, and I actually did it right. But no, I can't do it, because the recording was scrapped, and I have to do this again. Uh, I gotta calm down. Anyway. Um, let's see, is that Gruff Goat still... Ah. Okay, I'm just about done fighting enemies right here. I just kind of want to get one last level up, and then I'm just going to go ahead and continue with the adventure, because this is definitely not fun. Yeah, Bubble Monkey, I forgot to cover his attacks. Basically, he can do a standard attack. Ooh, Vitality. Um, anyway, he can do standard attacks, or he can just waste a turn scratching his head. And, you know, that kind of stuff. Don't worry, Bubble Monkey will become more useful to us later on. He will. Now, in addition to uh, this tent, this tent right here that you can rest in, um, there's going to be another place we can rest up, not too far from here, actually, and we're just going to go there. Just going to walk farther. Now, let's go through here. Don't want to do any more fighting. Alright, now, here's a tent right here. This tent is abandoned, I believe. My useless knowledge serves me right. Yes, it is. Just a lamp. Now... The first time I played this game, I thought you had to stay out of sight from these guys, because I thought these guys with binoculars were out looking for you because you ran away from your boarding house. But that's not the case at all. I heard the wind is always blowing when Tessie appears. Ah, chew! I feel like I'm catching a cold. Tessie would be unexpectedly living in the woods, I personally think so. Anyway, I can narrate that guy better. I heard the wind is blowing when Tessie appears. Ah, chew! I feel like I'm catching a cold. Okay, there, I did it better. I knew I could do better. Find Tessie. Do you think I'll get in the newspaper? Link for my 15 minutes. Away. Apparently, this is the Tessie Watching Club. I'm gonna save our game right here. Um, they dream of finding Tessie. That is what they want to do. That is always that is their life stream. They're just walking around looking for Tessie. Here's the I'm excited for that. Um, what a cute little monkey. Would you like a piece of gum? Maybe monkeys don't like them. Ah, speak for yourself. You don't know jack about monkeys. You're right. We're here at Lake Tess. Looking for Tessie. We're known as Tessie Watching Club. See, you've been bitten by Tessie Minnie. You're in luck. Maybe we'll see Tessie tomorrow. I can't wait. Everyone here is just insane about wanting to see Tessie, but that's just going to be it for this part. We're going to get into Tessie and this Tessie Watching Club tomorrow. So, um, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Big yellow button. And give me a good five-star rating down below this video. And I guess if you like this, uh, check out some of my other parts, too. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, see you guys later.